what are the best seasonal opportunities you can take advantage of as an Amazon FBA seller? This is the answer that we are going to be looking forward to in today's video. I'm going to share with you my experience. I've been selling on Amazon for uh, three years. We'd say two years because I took six months off. But uh, yeah, I I've been selling for two, three years. And I'm going to share my experience with you. And we are going to do it with a tier list. Okay, it's been quite a while that we haven't done a tier list. And so since I got a new computer, I can share my screen with you guys. I said, why not actually do a tier list? Because you guys used to like them a lot. If you do not know what a tier list is, uh, we are going to rank all those opportunities uh, with the Japanese ranking system okay with s being the top level okay the best level that you can get then a b and then we go straight to trash and under trash this is my little twist every time i do a, a, a tier a tier list uh we have the be fucking for real category so it's those opportunities that are actually really worse than trash okay so before we start if you need help sourcing if you have a hard time i have a free ebook there's a link in the description that is going to help you scale your amazon business by actually learning how to source because if you're a beginner it's probably the place where you're having the most trouble right now so get the ebook it's 100 free you're gonna learn how i go about sourcing every single day and how i'm able to find profitable leads regularly every single day when i source okay without off days this is the exact strategy that i use detailed in that free ebook second thing that you're gonna find is the link for the one-on-one -on -one coaching because I'm offering one-on-one -on -one coaching if you want to scale your business faster. Okay, if you want to scale your business faster, book a call with me. I'm going to build a plan for you to scale your business, and you're gonna be you're gonna have my direct line so you can actually talk to me to and we can talk to make sure that you actually reach your goals and that you are on track to reach your goals. Okay, it's not a one-time thing. You have my contact and we can discuss your plan until you actually reach your goal. Okay, this is the big thing. Next thing, the Discord server. If you want to grow, you need to have a community. You need to have a network. Best way to do it, come on a Discord server. Start interacting with people by answering questions, asking questions, all that stuff. You'll make friends and growing will be way faster. So let's start with the tier list. And so we are going to look at those opportunities at two levels. Okay, The first one is going to be... Uh, if like because there, it, it, oh, seasonal opportunities really come in two like there's two ways to look at them okay first of all some seasonal opportunities are going to be great opportunities to actually source products because usually there's huge sales for those specific opportunities okay and these this is the first way that we are going to look at those uh, those seasonal opportunities the second way is uh with the sales volume that actually picks up on amazon and it could be on for specific categories or for the whole the whole um the whole amazon ecosystem okay so this is the two ways that we are actually going to look at uh, opportunities and let's just start with the first one which is going to be and you know what let's start with something that is going to be controversial okay let's use 4th of july and 4th of july i'm going to put it as an a tier and i'm going to tell you why and if you are american just do not listen to what i'm going to say because it might uh, offend you okay but for all the other guys that do not understand the the, the 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 importance of 4th of july in the u.s you really need to understand something and i'm sorry if you are american and you actually and it, it actually hurts you but what you need to understand is that americans are really dumb okay it's they are really dumb and they are brainwashed into almost worshipping their flag okay and because of that whenever july 4th comes around not only people will buy a whole lot of things but the price of us flags on amazon skyrockets okay and so if you can start looking at that like one month before and you actually look on amazon for all the price performed for these like last 4th of july you are going to be able to find a lot of hugely profitable products, okay? And not just flags, but anything with the flag on it, with the American flag on it. These people are so brainwashed that they will buy anything with their flag on, okay? They are so proud of their flag. You cannot disrespect the flag, and they almost worship the flag. So, knowing this, you can make a huge, a whole lot of money with the American flag uh, if you actually sell it on Amazon because the price will skyrocket. So this is something that you want to look at. And anything that has to do with barbecue and all that stuff will, the, the sales volume will pick up a little bit before 4th of July as well. You can make a lot of money. 
I've never done it, but it's something that I'm going to look forward for next year because I'm going to look more into seasonal opportunities. Actually, when I first started online arbitrage, one of the first leads that I found was one of those American flag, and uh, I still have it, and I'm probably going to look for I'm probably going to look for this lead next fourth of July, okay? Because you need to know that seasonal opportunities are actually great opportunities uh, when you are on Amazon seller because you, you usually 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 the return on investment that you can get is way higher than the return on investment that you'll get on average. <laughs> during the during the rest of the year, okay. So this is why um, seasonal opportunities are really great. Christmas, and we should have been. I should have put like Q4 in a hole in the opportunity Q4 season because uh, there's a lot of opportunities and these are really S tier opportunities. And Christmas is going to be a S tier seasonal opportunity, and here's why. Not only there's a lot of, like, the, the main reason why Christmas is one of the best opportunities when it comes to seasonal opportunities on Amazon is because right before Christmas, there's a few other seasonal opportunities that we are going to talk about in a few, okay, such as Thanksgiving and such as um, and such as Black Friday and Cyber Monday. Now, because of this, the supply of products on Amazon is actually lower, and, like, usually there's a lot of things that uh, people cannot actually stay in stock during Q4 because of the increase in the volume, okay? And so because of that, since the stock, since the supply is lower, the price is higher. Not only this, but the demand on Amazon skyrockets as well, and Christmas is the last step into that Q4 surge, okay? And so um, because of that... Because of this, and we just lost wait because we had I think we had um, we had New Year's Eve right there, and it's not there anymore, and it's right there. So we are going to talk about it a little bit. Um, but because of this, Christmas is really because the, the sale parents will actually try to buy gifts at the uh, at the last minute, and so because of this, they are going to buy gifts with price inflated like crazy and so this is one of the best holiday of the year but you need to get ready for this you need to prep your whole q4 and not just you should not just prep for for christmas right so great opportunities you can do fba you can do fbm you can do whatever you want and you can make a lot of money with this opportunity and it's one of the best opportunity of the year if i'm being honest no new year's eve be fucking for you um to be honest i asked chat gpt to actually give me like a few seasonal opportunities a few seasonal period for 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 um for this video New Year's Eve is trash. Um, there's nothing. I mean, it's still Q4 volume is still there a tiny bit, but not really. So, um, but usually, yeah, it's not that good. There's not that many products that you can actually find in my experience. And I may be wrong. So if I'm wrong, please correct me. But usually you will not find a lot of product, a whole lot of product uh, for New Year's Eve on which you are going to make a lot of money. Okay, so New Year's Eve, be fucking for real trash period okay halloween halloween and halloween is going to go into the b tier here's why it's not about um halloween is not going to be about volume picking up okay in on amazon sales volume picking up it's it's, it's going to be the type of holiday where you want to go in store after the fact okay because a lot of the candies that that were on that they were selling that stores were selling um during halloween or before halloween everything that did not sell will be like half off half off and more so we can get candies for super cheap and actually sell them back on amazon and make a ton of money okay so the reason why i actually put it as a b tier and it's borderline in between b and a in my opinion the reason why i put it in b tier is because um it's great, but there's way better opportunities, and it would not be fair to put it in the A tier because it's not as good, in my opinion, as Fourth. And no, you could argue that it's pretty much the same as Fourth of July, and it made me rethink about um, where I actually put Fourth of July in this list. But um, yeah, it's it's to be honest, yeah, we, we could argue it's borderline to the A tier, but uh, it's just candies, and it's just you, you're gonna need to drive around stores to actually find good uh, good opportunities. So. Uh, for that reason, um, you know, it's not something that is hugely scalable. So for that reason, and seasonal, yeah. Seasonal opportunities are not all about scalability, because of course it's just once a year. But um, it's less scal it's less scalable, and so for that reason it's going to go in the picture. But you can make a lot of money if you are willing to drive from store to store. Okay? Next. 
Black Friday and Cyber Monday. STR. And here's why. First, the sales volume is going to increase on Amazon and at the same time, you can find a lot of great deals for the cheapest price of the year all around the web if you are doing online arbitrage. And so this is going to be one of the best time of the year to actually buy inventory. So because of that, S tier, you do not even need a lot of preparation. You just look everywhere and you can spend a ton of money. Now, some people, um, especially this year, since Amazon FBA is in online arbitrage is, going, is starting to be way more popular on Twitter. A lot of people talk trash about talk to trash about the Black Friday deals. There was a lot of Black Friday deals that actually did not tank. Okay. And so if you to be honest, if you listen to people on Twitter, you're not buying shit. Okay. And you are gonna start buying stuff, super niche and stuff. This is not the way you do, you do online arbitrage. Okay. Um so yeah, Black Friday, Cyber Monday, Esther, one of the best time of the year to buy inventory. Now, next, Mother's Day, Father's Day, trash. Never found anything uh, during that time, there's not huge sales, uh, and it's not that bad. You'll find some sales, especially for Father Day, like for on websites such as Cabela's, I guess. Um, but uh, yeah, you it's not, the sales volume does not increase like crazy. It's not a time of the year where you are going to be able to make a lot of money. Same thing with Valentine's Day, and with Valentine's Day, um. You find a lot of candies as well uh, that are going to be discounted after the fact. But a lot of them are actually like branded towards Valentine's Day and it's not products that will necessarily sell on Amazon after the fact. So uh, for that reason, in my opinion, it's in the trash category. It's not that good. It's just not that good. Uh, and yeah, there's no clear way, in my opinion, that you can actually, or I haven't found one, maybe you found one and you can let me know in the comments, but I've never found a, a great way to actually make money with Valentine's Day stuff, okay? That's just me. Uh, probably you can find some profitable um, seasonal products that you can buy before so before Valentine's Day, but usually, if I'm being 100% honest, usually people just drive to CVS and Walgreens and buy stuff last minute over there, okay? In the morning while their wives or girlfriends are actually still sleeping. Okay, so that's how men do this most of the time. That's how I do it. And so uh, for that reason, you know, as a man, I'm going to tell you the truth. So I, I do it. I'm not going to prepare for Valentine's Day 10 days in advance. Just go to CVS, you buy some fucking flowers and you buy some fucking chocolates. Your girl will be happy. That's all you have to do, okay? No need to actually uh, buy some stuff on Amazon 10 days before the fact, okay? Mo and this is what most men will do. If you and if you are a lady, by the way, try yourself. Wake up early on uh, on Valentine's Day and go to CVS and Walgreens and see the amount of men that are actually at those stores buying stuff for their girl. Okay, nobody is going to buy shit on Amazon for that. Uh, most people are not going to buy stuff on Amazon for that for that for for, for that occasion. Easter, um, Easter B is not as good as Halloween, but you're going to find some chocolate on sale on right after um right after right after uh, after the fact okay right after the holiday no it's not as good as halloween and it's not as bad as uh, valentine's day and so it should be in between the two it's trash but it's borderline i'd say it it's more into the trash category than in the b category so we'll put it on trash um but it's better than valentine's day there's still some stuff that you can find profitably that there's way more, there's a little bit more opportunity than Valentine's Day, or so I should say it. Um, still, it's not that good, and it's not something that, in my opinion, you should focus on. Next, back to school. And you know, if you know me, back to school is a great time to actually make a lot of money because the sales volume is starting to pick up, especially after the end of, uh, you know, usually Q2 is not that good, the beginning of Q3 is trash, and so, um, it's 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 when start it's it's when the sales volume start picking up a little bit. It's a pre Q4, and if you sell the right stuff, you can actually make a lot of money. Okay, back to school is the time where you can make a lot of money because of the sales volume picking up. Uh, you can sell shoes, school supplies, um, a lot of the stuff are, is actually picking up. And uh, just look around; there's great sales as well all around the the internet. So great time to actually make money not as good as black friday and black friday should be above christmas by the way let's reorganize everything it's black friday christmas back to school in my opinion um so yeah back to school is a great time to make money if, if, by the way also what i should say is i need to say this 
um, you should have, for all those great seasonal opportunities, you should have a spreadsheet on which you are going to... So, you should have a spreadsheet for Black Friday leads, not necessarily Black Friday leads, but for um, anything like for 4th of July leads, you should have a specific spreadsheet for this. For Easter leads, you should have a specific spreadsheet. For back to school leads, you should have a specific spreadsheet. So, you can go back to it the next year year okay you can find you can find those products back and see if you can find them profitably and if you can uh, it's an easy way to actually replan on products instead of testing new products and to spend less time sourcing so this is something that you should do in my opinion now thanksgiving and so um it's tricky okay i'm going to put it here just because I have a loop for Thanksgiving, okay? Me and my friends have a loop for Thanksgiving that is hugely profitable if we can pull it back again next year. So, of course, I'm not going to tell you what it is. But if I can, if we can pull it back again next year, I'm probably going to be able to make six figures in profit just with this Thanksgiving leads in a couple of weeks, okay? Next year, if I play my cards right. So, um... Thanksgiving, there's a lot of, uh, like, there's a few Thanksgiving leads that are super and super profitable. I'm not going to tell you that much. Uh, too much, I'm sorry. But uh, yeah, for me, Thanksgiving, last year, better than Christmas, better than back to school. I'm going to make a ton of money next year if everything goes right. Uh, if the stars align, because uh, uh, all the time with online arbitrage, uh, stars need to align somehow uh, if you want to make uh, great money with great opportunities you need to find the right stuff at the right time and so if we can find if, if we can get this loop again next year we are going to make a crazy amount of money okay yeah that's it um the summer season b here's why you can find some opportunities with swimsuits all that stuff uh, but it's not that good because swimsuits are usually usually have huge usually a big return like they they, they they have huge return rates a lot of returns a lot of returns on swimsuit and so um it's not that good in my opinion you can make some money people used to sell pools if it was still a loop um if it was still a loop it would be s tier but uh, it's not a loop anymore really sorry so uh, yeah b tier spring cleaning never heard of that uh, of course i've heard of spring cleaning but i had never heard of Spring cleaning opportunities? No. There could be some loop. Uh, it may be cleaning products increase in sale, like the, the demand for, 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 for cleaning products increase. Never tried, so it's something that you could try if you wanted to. Uh, but I've never tried, and it's just something that you could, and I don't know why it's twice here, so we're going to put it twice here. Um, you could try, but yeah, I don't necessarily know. Winter or season? Let's move to the next one. Winter or season? And I'm going to put it B tier under Halloween because there's a few products that you can find. Not only like first of all, jackets. Um, you can find a lot of jackets for, for, from a lot of brands. You can make money with them. Uh, during the late winter season, there's a lot of stuff that I'm not going to share because it's the stuff that most people shared with me that I do not want to share. Uh, and but I haven't been selling them myself. But there are some uh, during Q4 opportunities retail arbitrage opportunities that you can flip into 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 like with fbm uh, it's groceries opportunities seasonal opportunities there are some stuff there are some stuff you can make money on um, but it's not as good as the rest of the thing that you're going to find during q4 let's be quick with the rest um and let's put labor day labor day eight here because labor day lots of great sales and a great time to actually make money to actually find inventory for cheap, okay? To find inventory on the low. One of the best time of the year, okay? Not as good as back to school or, Fri or Black Friday and Cyber Monday, but it's it's close. And it's actually better than 4th of July. So let's reorganize this. It's actually better than 4th of July, in my opinion, okay? Uh, next, the next three are going to be trash. Graduate, graduation season, trash. St. Patrick's Day be fucking for real Cinco de Mayo trash okay uh, those are not necessarily great opportunities in my opinion I've never found anything no it's just with online arbitrage and uh, I'm really talking about online arbitrage and and um, and retail arbitrage no with wholesale or if you do some other models such as print on demand 
it could be a little bit different, okay? But with online arbitrage, retail arbitrage, in my opinion, maybe with retail arbitrage, it's a little, it, it could be worth it if you can find products a little bit before the fact and um, actually sell them if you can sell out uh, by by those dates. But like, except from that, yeah, it's not opportunities that you want to look at necessarily, okay? So I hope this video was helpful and you, you were able to learn a little bit about seasonal opportunities. Uh, it's been a little while that we haven't done any um, tier list. So if you guys want more tier list, if you have some suggestion, let me know in the comments. Uh, I actually enjoy doing tier lists, they are fun, and so if you want to do it yourself, please do. So uh, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow for a new video. Thank you for watching.